Russia says Ukrainian drones have attacked the Moscow area for a fifth consecutive night. In Krasnogorsk, just outside Moscow, a drone was shot down, crashing into a high-rise apartment block. It caused minor damage with no casualties reported. Moscow airports halted flights for several hours. Russia said it jammed another two drones near Bryansk in the southwest. Let's speak to journalist Yulia Shapovalova. She joins us now for more on this from Moscow. Uh, Julia, Yulia, give us more details on this attack and how people are reacting now to these multiple drone strikes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, according to reports we're getting, uh, the Russian um, uh, Ministry of Defense actually repelled an attack of drones, and altogether six drones uh, were repelled. Uh, two were shot down in the Moscow region, two in the border region of Bryansk, as you say, and two more in the northwest of Crimea. All of them were destroyed uh, either by air defense systems or jammed by electronic warfare uh, equipment. Uh, by the way, according to the Moscow mayor, uh, when he was Speaking about the latest attack that took place overnight in the northwestern suburb of Moscow, uh, some strike drones, not reconnaissance drones, were used. Uh, he didn't specify the, whether they were carrying any explosives or not. Uh, potentially, they could. Uh, they could. Well, uh, Russian Ministry of Defense blamed the Ukrainian side, of course, for the attacks, as they normally do. Sadly, it's becoming the new normal to speak almost daily about drone attacks on the Russian territory. As for people, they're contemplating what is going on, remaining mostly silent so far. Apparently, their silence will last until the first casualties caused by the strikes will take place. However, today, uh, we saw some footage on the internet of people expressing their discontent and grumbling uh, uh, while on the plane. Uh, of course, uh, people are unhappy with the closure of the airports in Moscow and flight delays, but apparently they refuse to realize that they are also participants in this conflict, whether they like it or not, and the closure of airports is a necessary measure to prevent the worst-case scenario, as drones, of course, uh, pose a great Grave danger to planes and civilians. Indeed. Yulia Shapovalova brings the latest there from Moscow. Thanks very much.